Tonight's first reconstruction is of a crime that had so many witnesses, you might think it's a wonder the police need any more. It's an armed raid on a security van near Oxford. A robbery that had to be abandoned because so many drivers and people from a nearby builder's merchants decided to intervene. Now, we've changed some minor details for security reasons, and we filmed when it was snowing, which it wasn't when the robbery took place. The day is exactly one week before Christmas, Tuesday the 18th of December. And it's half past two outside the Unipart factory in Garsington Road in Cowley. That guy over there, Mick, looks so he's having a pee. Very clever if he is, no hands. Notice the light coloured car at the front, though it might not have been a Volvo. The driver of this pursuing car is an ex-police officer. John's Brian. John Armblag, Unipark, Garsington Road. I'm in pursuit of a Vauxhall, dark blue. G818 VPD. Two targets. One of them armed. Handgun, pistol. I repeat, a dark blue boxer. I think I may be a London team because of the handgun situation. One of the guards either seriously or fatally shot. They're going out of a whack. 80, 90 through Garsington. I'm going to have difficulty at the top here, I think. I've lost them. They've obviously not come up onto this road. I'm turning back. Without a doubt, they've gone straight across the crossroads towards Berensfield. At 20 to 3, Linda Madel was driving up Tootbalden Road. Immediately I saw him, I thought, there's something very suspicious going on. And he was sort of in a panicky state. He looked very pale. And I just thought he was up to no good. There was another witness with his dog in an adjoining field. A little later, further down the lane, a cyclist saw a jogger.
And just after three o'clock, the police got to the lay-by where the robbers had been parked. They could hardly miss the evidence. Driver Alpha 91, piece of number plate up in the 91, go ahead. Yeah, can you arrange a scenes of crime mobile for me, please? A took Borden Road. Near side, we found some number plate helmets and that in a ditch. Proceed to it. Yes, 91, on the scene. Bravo Alpha out. Have a look in the field just to make sure. And at about the same time, two miles further up the main road that runs through Newnham Courtney, a quality inspector road testing a new car had stopped to check the vehicle. We have a replica of that gun here. Dave Buckingham, first of all, what about the security guard who was apparently shot? shot? What sort of condition is he in? He's fine, Nick. Had a bruised and swollen cheek, but he was lucky that a blank was fired, otherwise he could have been very seriously injured or even killed. Now, in fact, the gun that was used that fired blanks isn't a real one. It's, it's a replica, a very popular make of replica. It's a Brunei 8mm uh, made in Italy, and it's a replica Beretta. We would like to hear from anybody who may have had one stolen or knows of anybody who purchased one recently and is now no longer in possession of it since the 18th of December. Now, the blanks that were in this may hold the key because uh, before the robbery, the night before in fact, at 6.15, a man walked into the Dunmore Shooting Centre on the Wooden Road in Abingdon, which is about five miles from Cowley. I'm sorry, sir, we're closed. You don't have to sell me anything. Look, do you have any of these? Yes, eight millimeter blanks. I sell them, and not this particular type. Do you want gunners for? Uh, no, I don't. But it's a good one. Let's have a look at the magazine. No, I can't tell, I'm afraid. If I say the wrong blanks, you could hurt yourself or the gun. Well, it's only in the car, and go and get it if you like. Well, I'm closed now, but I open at nine in the morning. If you bring it back, then I'll see what I can do. Yeah. OK? OK. OK. Bye-bye. Now, you think this man just might be the man in the robbery who drove the getaway car? He's very similar to the uh, video fit produced by the witness at Toot Borden, who saw the man next to the blue Vauxhall. At Abingdon, he was uh, wearing a, a light beige shirt and dark trousers. At Toot Borden by the Vauxhall, he was wearing a denim jacket and dark trousers. He's a pretty big guy, about six foot tall, and uh, so is the, the second man, the gunman. The gunman, also about six foot, wears size 11, si size 11 shoes, you know that, and sort of receding dark hair. What about the woman in the car, in that light-coloured car that drove in front? Ostensibly, she was turning around in the road. Of course, she could have been there simply to set up the robbery. Yes. We would like her to come forward if she, if she is an innocent party just turning around in the road. Or we would like to hear from somebody who knows a woman driving a similar car uh, who is an associate of the two offenders. Now, the clothing that was dumped was quite distinctive. We've got uh, a, a picture of the blue tracksuit, which has a star emblem with an eight on it, as you can see, and the trousers say O'Neill. And found with the clothes was this receipt. Tell us about it. Yes, the receipt is from Roach's stores in Cork, Southern Ireland. The amounts on the receipt are actually amounts for the tracksuit top and bottom. And we would like to know of anybody who's been across to Ireland, maybe on holiday, or just visited and purchased such items recently. They were purchased about six days before the robbery on the 12th of December. So there may well be an Irish connection somehow to this. The, the dark blue Vauxhall Cavalier, Cavalier that the robbers used to escape in has never been found, has it? No, it has a, a broken rear passenger window. We would like to hear from anybody who knows such a vehicle. They may have had it stolen, maybe a hire vehicle, or it could be the offender's own vehicle. Or maybe you repaired that sort of damage to vehicle. This is the plate that was made up, or one of them. If you made up that plate too, do please let us know, G818VPD. Indeed, if you can help us in any way, do please call. There's the number, 081-811-8181. 081 8181 The detectives are waiting now, or indeed you can speak to a BBC researcher if you prefer, 
Alternatively, you can call Cowley Police Station. That's 0865 266 331. 0865, the code for Oxford, 266 331.